Welcome to this week's Vidotional. Hi, hi guys. Hey, welcome back. This week we're gonna be talking about a subject that we get asked about a lot, which is friendship. So we wanted to break down friendship into four different levels. So once you realize what those levels are, it really is gonna change your perspective on your friends and the friends that you have. And then it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to deal with the people that are in your life. These four levels are taken from the disciples and the life of Jesus. And so we're just gonna break down the relationships that Jesus had within this network of people people and apply it to your life. So the first one is the lowest form the lowest of friendship, form. which is Judas. Judas. The betrayer. The hater. If you recognize the Judas, you, you know, know what to that, do with you it. Know, because you Jesus know. knew. <laughs> Jesus knew. And guess what? Jesus was still loving towards he Judas. Was. He entrusted Judas uh oh, with the money. And, all but he all knew. the while knowing he knew. Judas was going to steal from him. Yep. And Judas was a hater. He was. Mm -hmm. Out of the 12 people in Jesus' life, there was that one who just couldn't really connect and actually betrayed him. And so if you see one of those relationships or friendships in your life right now, know that it's absolutely natural. That even Jesus experienced haters. It happens. Um, and you know, recognize them as such and don't get frustrated, don't get mean, don't try to like seek vengeance. Do what Jesus did and still love on them, pray for them, and just keep them at bay. The next level is level number two. <laughs> oh girl, go, go run with that. Tell me about the next level two. You got it. The next level, say it, is the acquaintance level. Most of your friends are gonna fall under this category of acquaintances, which you're chummy with, you're friendly with, you love, but they're just not gonna be somebody that you invest a lot of your time with or expose yourself, um, not, not like that, but expose <laughs> some of your deepest, most intimate dreams and desires with. So in that way, they're just acquaintances. And in the life of Jesus, those eight other disciples are represented as the acquaintance level. They connected with Jesus, they loved Jesus, they hung out together, but Jesus really didn't reveal his innermost depth to these eight, but they still connected, they still died for Jesus, they were friends. There's eight of them. Let me just name them off. Nathan, Philip, mm -hmm. Luke, oh. Lester. I mean, okay, can you name that's them? That's fine. Um, moving can on. Can you name them? Moving on. Can now, you? Oh, the next oh, level. You have been quiet, you can't either. Judas. Okay. Acquaintance, acquaintance level. That's Second what that level. is. Level three. Level three is the inner circle. So that was clearly, for lack of better, it's the inner circle. I mean, that's what else do you want? <laughs> the third level here, pay attention. The third level here is the inner circle. And so in Matthew 17, it tells us that Jesus had three out of the 12 that were in his inner circle. And they got to witness on the mountain of transfiguration what had happened to Jesus a powerful moment that really transformed Jesus' ministry. And so who was and there? And all of their life. James, John, and Peter. Peter. And so those three people Peter. are our- Peter. Can you not? Peter. Those three people are the ones that uh, symbolize an inner circle. Let's fast forward to today. What does that look like today? If Jesus had a reality show or a TV show, it would be Golden Girls. This would be like the Golden Girls of Jesus. <laughs> Thank you for That's not being even like a friend. Okay. Travel down the road and back. That's again. not even a modern like example. Your heart Nobody is knows true. what you're talking about. You're right a now. pal and a confidant. And, and if you threw a party and invited everyone you knew, <laughs> you would be the thing that I want to be. And a kind of that would say. Thank you for being a friend. Stop, you're welcome. Well, that was know. good. Okay, but that doesn't even really make though. sense. Anyway, inner circle. Third, third level, inner circle. Matthew 17. It says John. Uh, James and Peter were there to witness the transfiguration of Jesus. He got to engage with them uh, deep spiritual truths and reveal to them a side that really no one else could, could ever really see. Or could handle, captured. really. Exactly. So that's the third level. Tell me who your three closest, most intimate friends are, and I will tell you where you'll be in a year. The last level, which is the highest, highest level, level Level number four, John the Beloved. If you guys can remember, John the Beloved is the one it, at the Last Supper, looks like this. <laughs> I 
Anyway, stop. So John is who symbolizes that. Oh my God. <laughs> what was that? That watch is deadly. Have you ever been whacked with it? <laughs> no. I think it's swollen. The fourth level, and it's the highest level, is John the Beloved. And that is the, uh, the highest form of friendship that you can have. And he got to experience Jesus in ways that nobody, nobody out of the 12 disciples got to experience. He was taken to the third heaven. So could you imagine? Could you imagine? The things that he was saying. This is the same John that when Jesus was on the cross said, John, take care of my mamacita when I leave the earth. Mm. Take care of my mama, Mama Dukes. Mama Dukes. <laughs> Take care of her. Take care of her. <laughs> Jesus turned into <laughs> Italian. <laughs> what a special relationship he had. What with a Jesus. special relationship. And there was one. Only, Only one. one out of those twelve. So John the John the Baptist. <laughs> Not even the same guy. <laughs> so John the Baptist had there was there's benefits of, of <laughs> John the Baptist. <laughs> oh, what? John the Baptist. <laughs> So John, John the Beloved, there's benefits of having a very close and intimate relationship with Jesus, clearly. He outlived all of the disciples. So that highest level, that highest form of friendship, that's only afforded one person. So who is that one John the Beloved in your life mm -hmm. that you could share your most deepest, intimate dreams and revelations with? Um, <laughs> tell me who it be? I want to know. Who is it? There's a. Let's just recap here, shall we? Yes. The first. The Judases of your life. Haters. Haters. It's okay. You move on. The second level. Acquaintances. Most people fall under this category. You they're don't just. Have to share everything. They're just. Hi, Sally. How the kids? Bye, Sally. Level three. The inner circle. The inner circle. Those are the three people that you can be. You. Can yeah. Share. They'll nurture your dreams. They'll be happy for you. They'll pray for you. They'll uh, stand in agreement with, with the vision that God has placed in your heart. Um, those are the three people that are gonna be, obviously, some of the closest to you. Level oh, number four, which is the highest level, would be John, the John the Beloved. The beloved who is level. that in your life? Yes, like this is the person that I go to, this is my confidant, this is the person that I pray with. This, this is my ride or die. This is my ride or die. I don't even know what that means. Me neither. Clearly, you're not, you may have 12 friends, you may have 50 or 100 friends, who knows. But at some point, they're all gonna fall under these categories. And again, when you change your perspective, it really lightens the load of like your responsibility in their life and their responsibility in your life. If you can narrow down who your friends are and slide them into one of these categories, you're gonna be so much, it's gonna be such a breeze. breeze. Such a breeze. God bless. Peace. Deuces.